King has returned! Hello my friends, my name is Venextron, and after several months of not uploading anything to the five people that know I exist, I have returned. My plan was actually to start making videos, proper Des Destiny videos, when Destiny 2 came out, because I felt like that was the most opportune time to try and get into that community of content creators. But yeah, I'm going to be focusing on Destiny mainly, obviously. Um, I don't think I'm going to be like any of the Destiny news channels. If you if you, if you you watch Destiny uh, content, you, you know what I mean by the Destiny news channels. I don't think I'm going to be anything like that, but... Um, yeah, no, it should be, it should be fun. Because, yes, it's one thing to say you want to do Destiny um, uh, for your YouTube channel. But the thing you need to understand, especially if you don't play Destiny or not, you're not aware of the community surrounding it, is that when it comes to the content creators of this game, everybody falls under a very specific category. You have your PvP content creators, you have your PvE content creators, you know, you have your hardcore PvE, the guys that solo stuff, the guys that do guides for stuff. And then you have your lore um, channels, which are, there are a lot fewer of them because, you know, there's a, a lot of effort that goes into, you know, researching and finding out stuff about the lore. And honestly, I didn't really know where my place would be in all of those categories. A friend of mine, um, heard one of my lore rants because I'm, I'm I'm so big into the lore of Destiny and a lot of other games and when I'm really passionate about something I just rant on for ages but I had a really big theory um, about one of the topics of the lore in that game and I was just kind of explaining to my friends and the guy was like you know I think I think you need to bring back your channel and I think you I think you need to do this I think you need to make content like this because People will be interested in what you have to say, and I think that that really that really inspired me, and it really encouraged me to get back into this. And so, as somebody who's new, trying to step in and make a name for themselves, it's very hard to do anything unless you have something original to bring to the table. So I feel that yeah, I could make lore videos, I could tell stories and stuff like that, but it's nothing new. However, I do think that a gap that I can take advantage of is making theories. I have a lot of theories. I have a lot of evidence backing up my theories. You know, I can pull things from all corners of the, the game world and all kinds of stuff. I think that's something that I really am looking forward to doing. And I think it's going to be unique. I think it's going to be new. And I think it's going to allow me to somewhat succeed. This is literally me just starting off YouTube, I'd say, for the first time. This is, this is day one. I consider this to be day one. Everything that I've made in the past has been just me learning how to do basic things. If anybody has any interesting, you know, feedback or, you know, advice, please tell me. What can you do? What can you, the viewer, do to help me? Because even now, I'll be very honest, there is a chance that this could fall through because I'm still finding my way in all this. I'm still beginning. What's going to help me is the feedback that I get from you. If you can provide me feedback, I mean, you can leave me comments. I know a lot of you guys that watch the videos, um, you know me because, you know, when you start off a channel, a lot of the people that watch it are your friends. I, I know, I know you guys are watching. I know you guys are watching. Um, so even if you just want to DM me something, just give me feedback. It's going to be fun. So yeah, I'm back, boys. Take care. But I wanted to make this small, hopefully small video um, just before all that. Um, to try and explain everything that's been going on with me and why I haven't been uploading and what my plan is for the future, which I think is the most important part. This is it. The plan is set, and the time is now. I am very proud to announce the rebirth of the Venextron channel, and delighted to present to you my goals of success and my plans for claiming them. At the beginning of this, I showed clips from two different videos 
which were both two separate attempts of mine to begin a steady life of YouTube content creation. Using the clips taken from those videos, I can create a timeline of my goals for YouTube, the obstacles that faced me, and the lessons and skills I've learned from them that will allow me to break free now and stand with success. Starting off, why do I make videos, and what is it that attracts me to the concept of content creation? The answer to that is community. The Venextron channel has lived three different lives, three different eras, and in each era, the common factor was a desire to create a community. The first era was Ven Gaming. <laughs> yeah, that cringe fest. I had no talent, no idea what I was doing, but I did it for the simple reason of wanting to share activity in my life that people would enjoy, in the hopes of creating some form of a following. I was barely a teenager then, and as you'd expect, it failed in a spectacular fashion. The legacy of Ven Gaming plagued me in my social life to the point that I made a video on this channel deleting those videos, and that channel from the face of the earth. This action was a statement. That time had passed. A new era had begun. The video from 2018 was the official announcement of this new start. I was Venextron, someone who wanted to make Destiny 2 content. I was inexperienced then, but not stupid. I knew that the ideal time to jump into the Destiny 2 YouTube scene was the launch of the game in 2017, and I knew that I was unsure of what kind of Destiny videos I'd even make. I mean, I had a bare bones editing software then, and I barely knew how to use it. I still made that video optimistically, and with little worries about whether or not I'd succeed. I would go on to make nearly no Destiny content, and an unfinished Dark Souls 3 walkthrough that, although was made with an abundance of passion and the best of the editing skills I had at the time, pretty much flopped. When you combine a 10 hour school day, with the sight of hard work going unnoticed, and a lack of a vision for the future, you see the end of an era that had just begun, and my disappearance from the YouTube platform. In 2020, the global health crisis caused all the schools in my country to shut down, and so I was home with more free time on my hands than I needed. I spent that time doing what I had always done, I played Destiny 2. My clan, the Harbinger's Fury, grew from a small group of friends who didn't play the game anymore into a family who raided three to five times a week. One of those friends learned of my passion for the lore of Destiny, and encouraged me to make content once more. I was excited, eager, but I knew that this time, this time it had to count, and making it count meant establishing a place inside the content creation community. When Destiny first released in 2014, and proved it was here to stay, many, many creators began making their careers off of the game. My name is Bife, Emtashed, and the legend himself to name but a few. What separates these creators is the fact that they provide a unique type of content for the same game. This means that these three in no way compete with each other. Instead, they compete against those within their own categories. Now, okay, all these guys are friends, don't get me wrong. But from a business standpoint, somebody who wants to watch, say, a specific lore video may choose the one from Mylan Games over Bife. And someone who wants to know how to solo something may choose to get that information from Esoteric over the legend himself. That's just the way it is. The franchise has been out for over six years now, and each category of content creation for Destiny 2 is nearly filled to the brim with established content creators. Unless you can provide better content than those creators in a category, which would require serious levels of experience and talent, as someone who wants to make YouTube content for Destiny 2, someone who's new, and they don't want to just have fun, but thrive, we're talking about a career here, you need to fall into a category that isn't full while you still can. Well, I'm new alright, but uh, I don't plan on falling under a broad category. I'm going to create my own. Let me show you what I mean. In the 2020 video, I talked about a theory I had. It was a theory concerning the greatest mystery in the Destiny universe. The darkness, the pyramid ships, the truth. No one thought it was possible to answer that question. They didn't even think an answer existed. But for the next six months after making that video, I began the Eldritch Theory. I read the lore. I researched the portfolios of artists who had worked for Bungie in the past and those who are working for them now. I observed music, trying to link similarities and extract general themes from them. 
I analyzed ancient civilizations, I learned their culture, I learned their history, and I even attempted to learn their language. I made discoveries that no one to this day has found, and I never even showed them all. The result was the Eldritch Theory in all its glory, 4 videos, 13,000 words, and over 2 hours of video content. I said in June that to succeed, you had to bring something new to the table, and I did just that. I made a post about these videos on the Bungie forums, and almost immediately, it was at the top of that site. My main video got over 700 views, and my subscriber count nearly tripled. I considered this a success. I might sound arrogant, and uh, I truly am sorry if that is how this is interpreted. It's just a project I am really proud of. So why did I mention all of that information about Project Eldritch? Apart from being something I wanted to make because A, it's fun, and B, I'm passionate about it, I made that theory as a test. The fact that with no consistency with past videos, the algorithm blessed me with those numbers, and the Destiny community gave me so much positive feedback, I knew my friend was right. People wanted to hear what I had to say. Those theories are my gap in the Destiny 2 YouTube market, and as far as I see it, my foot is already inside the door. That was the past, now let's look to the future. Back in 2020, a total of three theories were planned. Project Eldritch, Project Predator, and Project Needle. Project Eldritch provided you, the viewer, with information that you could find nowhere else, and the other projects will do the same. This is my promise to you. As I stated then, Project Predator will be released by early to mid-April, and I look forward to sharing it with you. Alright, that's sweet. I have a type of content that people like that is somewhat unique. However, the key problem with the theories is the amount of time it takes to create them. I can't just crap them out every week, as the majority of their development time is the research, which can take quite a while, believe you me. So for you, my followers, my friends, my family, what will I provide in the meantime? I have three answers to that one question. I will be creating general Destiny lore content. Now, this isn't me reading off lore pages, you can get that from anyone else. No, instead I will seek to answer questions you have. Why did this happen? What was the significance of that? Answers to questions you might not even know you have. If the Eldritch theory showed anything, it's my level of knowledge when it comes to the lore of Destiny so I am confident that I can help you in some way or another. I plan on releasing the first of these in the near future. Please give me your feedback on it so I can adjust the format of the video accordingly. In my 2018 video, I claim to want to make content for games other than Destiny 2 for a variety of reasons, and this is true even today. A game I plan on covering is Outriders, which releases April 1st and has a free demo coming out on the 25th of February. I'll be doing lore videos of all kinds on that, so if you find yourself playing the demo, be sure to see if I've made any Outriders content on my channel or if I'm streaming on the Venextron Twitch channel. Finally, in recent months, I've been working with MGN. If a game has an MGN channel or website, you can expect to find videos and articles with guides for all of your needs in that game. I am thrilled to announce that my friend and fellow YouTuber Brad Han and I are currently working on the brand new Destiny 2 MGN YouTube channel and website. We have extremely high ambitions for this realm of Destiny 2 content, and I strongly urge you to subscribe to the channel I have linked below, especially if you want more content from me. So from now on, if I'm missing here, you'll know exactly where I'll be. Okay, I've explained myself, now what? While I work on content for multiple channels and websites, I'll be looking to upgrade the foundations of this channel. Like I said at the start, Venextron is reborn. There will be new art, new intros and outros, an updated channel page, and so on and so forth. I'll also be working on my Twitch channel. I plan on streaming whenever I'm free, and when a proper schedule is developed, I will let you know. My message from 2018 is still applicable today. This is the beginning of my YouTube career. All those years have taught me the lessons I believe I need to succeed, and now is the time to put them to good use. It'll be a rocky start, I have no doubt about that, but with your support, we will rise. To you, who came here from my Bungie forum post, to you, who subscribed after seeing a video of mine and you recommended, and to you, 
a friend brought to me by the algorithm. If you enjoyed what I released in November, or you see any form of potential in this channel, then I ask that you stand beside me. Subscribe if you have not already done so. Like videos when they come, and comment any feedback you have. To you who is watching this, you are part of the first wave who will carry this channel to success. Without you, this plan will fail. But with you, we can make this first push and establish ourselves as a proud community on this platform. I am giving everything to this. Help me give more. I want to thank you for getting this far in the video, and you can expect to hear more from me very soon. The plan is set. The time is now. We will succeed. We will all succeed. Take care.